Morning everyone, it's Cola hanging out down here at the marina. Also, we are twinning. Completely unintentional, but that's what happens We're when you've been married 18, 18 years. years. <laughs> Today we're going to go on a tour around the city, kind of show you where we lived and some places around the city that we like. So we're starting down here, right downtown at the marina, at the bayfront. deep thoughts <clears throat> well I was just imagining what it would be like to come here for the first time like in the 1500s how excited would it be to experience a new land for the first time then I was also thinking about the reason that we we're here this weekend and it is we came to a reunion yesterday and then they're having this conference um, the Light the Fire Again conference, and I was just thinking how exciting it will be for people who have never experienced um, like what a revival environment feels like, but also just knowing that in that situation, we have experienced it before. Just being in the church yesterday and like standing in the one spot that I remember having an encounter with God I think I had several different spots in that place, but it was just really surreal. <clears throat> and you could just feel just, I don't know, thankfulness for the opportunity to have that revival DNA just coursing through my body. It's one touch from him changes your life. And now we're just wrecked for revival. Who knew that 500 years ago when Pensacola was founded that you know, um, such a massive revival would come to this city that when those people step foot on Pensacola, basically right where we're standing, mm -hmm. that the entire world would be impacted yeah. because they chose this spot and this land that several hundred years later, there would be a people in this city who cried out to God in such an amazing way that heaven came and shook the entire earth from this place. So it's surreal, it's amazing. That's what I was trying to yeah. say. Yeah. And you honor the roots <laughs> and everything. And we're just in Havana, and Havana also just had their 500 year anniversary. So something, I think there's something on it. And the Reformation I just was turned. I that. The Reformation just. The Reformation was last year. turned 500 years old last year. Yeah. So something about 500 and what's happening in the earth now, it's a really an invitation for, I think. I think uh, the family of God to arise. And when the family arises, I think the spirit of revival will return, you know, the earth and creation to God's original intent and design. And I think that's what every revival before now has been for. It's been, we, we're, we're, we're turning one degree closer to that original design. We're turning one degree closer. And Jesus did it all on the cross, but the embodiment of a people on the earth living that out has taken time to grow, to expand, to be expressed. And I think there's something on this 500 year anniversary. Mm -hmm. Pensacola's 500 years old. Yeah. The revival next year will have been, happened, began 25 years ago. So mm -hmm. something's really happening. There's a stirring in the earth right now. All creation groans for family to arise. When family arises, the church becomes the setting for heaven and earth. Yeah, that's good. That, my friends. That's where we first lived when we first got married. Didn't quite look wow. like that, but. Yeah, it looked better 20 years ago, but yeah. th that was our first place. We didn't live there long. We no. had to move because of issues. Yes, several. Several issues. Several issues. 
So this place is where I moved when I first came down to Pensacola. I stayed with Damian McCreek and some guys for a couple of months here until I found my own place. Crazy, crazy. Look where I'm at. Brownsville Revival School of Ministry. Some of the most amazing years and experiences of my life happened right here on these grounds. Behind me you have the Orange, which was the bigger auditorium. It originally housed the uh, first location of Liberty Church, which is now around the corner. And then Brownsville bought the campus uh, with the Assembly of God for the school. So yeah, this is where revival happened. Behind me is the blue right there. I never made it to the blue because I did a year of the orange and then um, the school transitioned and I did my second year at Fire School of Ministry. But here we are on this amazing campus. It's surreal to be here. Right behind me on my right shoulder, you have the old prayer house. So yeah, it's, uh, it's still here. And man, just you can kind of still, God lives outside of time. So you can tune into all the encounters, the glory cloud pillar, all the experiences that happened here. You can tune into that and the earth itself, the ground itself is still impacted by the glory and the touch of God on this place. Just like Brownsville main church was yesterday. You, you could feel it resonating. You can feel everything that happened resonating all around in the walls and the people. And I can feel it even standing here. Precious, precious place. A place that's marked with revival. You know, like we said earlier, the 500 years of Pensacola. And then it hit the church. Then it's impacting over here on this side of town. Really amazing when you begin to see things from heaven's perspective. And how it all ties together even two decades later. So right now we're driving through Bay Pine Villas. This is where I spent most of my time in Pensacola. So right in here, very nostalgic. I'm gonna to try to show you where I lived. So right there where you see that Tacoma is where I lived with Brian and Adam. Amazing times, bro times, glory times, all kinds of amazing experiences. We had all kinds of worship and stuff happening out there. It was wonderful. I actually originally lived a couple houses down when I, after I moved out of Damien's and then over to another apartment for a month until the room opened up for me to move in with Brian and Adam. And those were just some of the most precious times to me. I mean, it's where I spent my college years. It was like my college dorm experience, I guess, was right here at Bay Pine Villas. Crazy, crazy. So my other art lens isn't completely irrelevant. Please don't. Okay, here's our apartment, 214 Marigold Drive um, at Stoddard Place Apartments. We're the one on the bottom. This is where it all began for us. Uh, well, this is our second apartment, but this is the one that we have fond memories of. Well, it's our second apartment. Here's our apartment, 214. It's our second apartment, but it's where we did most of our life. The other place we showed you, I don't think we lived there more than like a month because we moved out because Alicia was getting headaches from all the mold. <laughs> and so these apartments actually, I think they were only a few years old when we first moved in and there's a bunch of students that lived in here. But there it is, 214 Marigold Drive. We're actually the lower floor. So if I zoom in right here, these two windows, that is where we essentially did our first year of marriage. Now, if you have heard my funny stories about this place, about when I got food poisoning the first year we were married, and when we had the farm dog for, what, like two days? One or two days, yeah. Um, this is the place that that happened. Shut up. And we had lots of memories. We had the best friends um, that lived on the other side that um, we just did worship nights, and we just did a lot of life here in that first year of our marriage. So this is a really, really wow. special place for us. Um, definitely a memory stone. So yeah, our tour continues. It's nostalgic. It's it's crazy. It's crazy to be almost 40 and then talk about things that happened 20 years ago. I guess we're adulting, but we're still young. We're still young. And uh, continuing the legacy of this city and its impact on the world and on us. Crazy fact too, the last place that I lived had a Tacoma out front. 
This place has a Tacoma out front, front and that's my dream truck. So if you're in the T Tacoma department of giveaway cool Tacomas, I'll take one. Thank you. So here we're driving over the bridge to Perdido Key. This is the main beach that we went to as we lived only about 15 minutes from it. We did a quick in and out, but we definitely wanted to include it in our video tour. This is Flounders. This place is special because before we were married and dating and Alicia was visiting me in Pensacola, we'd always hang out right here and it was just a special place. and. Uh, so yeah, we had sweet moments and memories hanging out at Flounders, so we wanted to throw that into the tour. He copies me all the time, and he's wearing my hat. Oh it looks my like gosh. Indiana Jones. No. Here we are at Pensacola Beach. Um, Again, another place that's really special to us, it's important, nostalgic. I actually lived in Gulf Breeze when I was two. My parents brought me out here as just a wee little lad. So it's really neat to be back out here, hanging out. Check the water out today, it's beautiful. Although there are jellyfish, so we can't get in. Mm -hmm. 